Hi guys, welcome to Nerd Bites, and this is going to be what I thought the first trailer for Thor Ragnarok. Out of nowhere, we've just got this random trailer just pop up for Thor Ragnarok. Didn't know it was coming this soon, I thought we'd have to wait a few more weeks yet. And it came out, and it's pretty awesome to be honest. As we've seen from some of the images from, uh, I think it was Entertainment Weekly, uh, he's had his hair cut up as well. And that plays into the story, obviously, they give it a rough idea of what's going on in this trailer. It seems that he's forced to go to the gladiatory arena and obviously he gets his hair cut off in process because of that um, and yeah so that works quite well into the story so as long as it's not permanent as long as he gets his long hair back in infinity war i'm happy the hammer is gone i mean i didn't think i mean i had a feeling that they were going to do this i had a feeling they were going to get rid of the hammer and give him that brand new one as well which i imagine we'll see eventually because we saw some in the concept art for infinity war and there was rooms going around that it might happen uh, but they, they threw it into the trailer right at the start with um, Kate Blanchett's character, I think it's Hella, I think she's playing if I remember correctly. Just held it there and just obliterated it into nothing. Then went on to obliterate Asgard as well and obviously captured Thor in the process. They are not fucking around with it. It's, it looks like it is, like they said, it's going to be the Winter Soldier leading up to Infinity War. It's just going to, everything's going to fall apart in this leading up to that third in Avengers film. Uh, you can see Hamdell again as well, but he's got long hair this time and it's a very, very quick shot. You see loads of other kind of aliens, he seems to be on a different planet as well, as, we, as we've seen, it seems like the obvious choice that he's going to be on loads of different planets, and, which is, um, you know, we need to see some new planets as well, which is cool. But yeah, loads of new aliens and this kind of stuff, but they, they are going for a kind of definitely more Guardians of the Galaxy feel to this. It's a bit more colourful, a bit more bright, a bit more, uh, you know, that kind of jokey feel to it, to, I, I, would, I would say, it's less serious than, say, the Dark World was. You see Loki again, uh, sporting a new headdress, it doesn't cover his entire head, it's a you know, kind of thing, he's got knives as well, look pretty cool. Tom Anderson looks cool as Loki, I love Loki. Uh, you get to see him again with um, Jeff Goldblum's character, I think was he called the Grand Master or something like that, I can't remember. Sitting on the benches as uh, Thor comes out into the gladiatorial arena. So I don't know what's going on there, whether he's kind of bartered with him and everything's in throwing Thor into the mix, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. I don't know how that's going to play out, but because we all know that the two of them go to the... Um, to Earth to find Odin. So again, it depends on how this works, whether it's going to be flashbacks or anything like that. I'm intrigued to see where it goes. Yeah, so as he steps into the Gladiator Arena with his new armor on and his weapons and whatnot, he puts the iconic helmet on. I don't know where he gets it from, whether it's uh, stuff that he finds when he's there or whether he's given it at another point. Puts it on and slides it into place. That I mean, it's awesome to finally see that helmet on properly. And then you've got Jeff Goldblum's character just saying it's the main event, blah, blah, blah. And this is going to be your incredible, and then bang, out comes the Hulk in his massive Hulk armor, looking absolutely awesome. Then Thor at the top of his voice, he's just like, yes, we know each other from work, and they just go in for a massive punch up, and then the title comes up. Awesome way to kick into it, awesome way for anyone that doesn't know anything about this, knowing that the Hulk is going to be in it, Loki's back in it, Thor's going through some shit times. It's going to be a hell of a film, I think. I think this is probably going to, hopefully, be the best Thor yet, and it's going to really lead well into the Avengers Infinity War. Overall, guys, this trailer was pretty damn awesome. It gave us a very rough idea of what the story could be. It shows how bad things have got for Thor and Asgard. It shows the Hulk, which is awesome. I mean, I I'm pumped for this film. So pumped for it. So that's what I thought of the first trailer for Thor Ragnarok. What did you think about it? Let me know down in the comments or send me an email. You can also find me on the various social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, moviepilot.com. Just type in Nerdbytes anywhere and I'm sure you'll find me. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos. And of course, keep it nerdy.